What's up everyone, John Rittinger from Techno Buffalo here. A few months ago I showed you what was on my Android device and now I'm back to show you what I've got on iOS. I'm not an app hoarder, but I generally keep the apps that I use the most. So I'm gonna show you what I think you might not know and walk you through what I've got and sort of go over very quickly the stuff I think you guys are all familiar with. So I've got my home screen set up relatively simply. I got me walking with Nate Man uh, in the back, just photos, calendar, settings, camera. Um, YouTube, if you guys are YouTubers, you really want to try the YouTube Studio and YouTube Capture. Studio will actually give you almost real-time analytics on your videos. So when it says 301 publicly, it'll tell you what that real video count is. Capture it lets you obviously capture video and upload directly. And YouTube Kids, if you've got kids, kids already, already know what that one is. Uh, Passbook, I love the Google app. I use that almost instead of Siri for all of my searches, and I love the Google Now cards. Uh, app Store, you guys know that. Uh, social media, I've got social media accounts you guys are probably familiar with. Uh, one you might not know is one called MeWe. So MeWe's kind of a really cool new social media app. It's got all the functionality and more like something like Facebook provides. And sort of unlike Facebook and Twitter, we worry about privacy and they kind of have loose settings and can sell your information. Uh, MeWe gives you full control over all your content, enables you to reclaim all of your privacy, something that's really important. You own your content. You control all of your interactions. You design a level of privacy. I like that I can share certain posts with different people. If I don't want everybody to see what I'm posting, I just want my wife to see it or my family, I can select that here. So that's something I really enjoy. You can share all kinds of cool stuff. You can just do text. You can do picture, video, audio, uh, movies, and sort of share everything direct from the app. They've got a cool feature that I haven't seen before. Uh, you can actually post with your voice, which is kind of neat. So say it if you want, record it, post it, and you are good to go. I've actually been following MeWe for, uh, for a while. One of the cool things about the company is actually Tim Berners-Lee, the founder of the World Wide Web, is on their board of directors. So if you want a social media app that you don't have to worry about stuff getting hacked or stolen, uh, MeWe is a good way to go. Rest of the stuff here, I think you guys are probably familiar with. Uh, TV tracking, if you guys run a website, these are apps you should consider. Uh, analytics, which is just thus far for iOS, gives you pretty close to real-time traffic stats. Uh, Chartbeat will tell how many people are on your site all at once, and quick analytics gives you a more in-depth analytic look to how you did yesterday, day before, and certain date ranges. Uh, there's a ton of analytics apps. These are the three that I use most. So if you run a website, you might want to take a look at all of those three. Um, messaging, just sort of messaging apps that I use all the time, uh, WhatsApp, BBM, Messenger, um, and Wire. Sites, new sites that I visit often with just shortcuts, nothing exciting there. Uh, I put all my Apple apps kind of just in a folder that I don't really use it often. Maybe I'll use Clock, but for the most part, that's really it. Others where a lot of apps kind of live, I'll run through these uh, very quickly and show you ones that you guys might not know. Uh, Play Memories, I have a Sony camera, lets me transfer my pictures from the camera over to the phone uh, via an ad hoc Wi-Fi, really nice. Marvel Unlimited, because I do like to read some comics here. GIF keyboard or GIF keyboard, um, that's the way you can send sort of GIFs in your keyboard. TaskRabbit, really cool way to sort of get people to help you out if you need help at home, or people to go pick stuff up for you. Uh, TaskRabbit is a really cool way to do that. Uh, Redfin for property, Atomic Web is another web browser, I haven't really used that in a while. Action Movie for creating shorts, uh, little action clips, you can have aliens attacking, all kinds of other stuff. Nest, I have a Nest thermostat at home, and also have a drop cam at home, so I can use that to monitor both of those. Uh, 1Password, the best way to store passwords. I cannot recommend 1Password enough. If you forget passwords, uh, that one is worth the price. I don't know what it costs now, I downloaded it years ago, but that one is really worth it. Uber Conference, we use that at Techno Buffalo for conference calls, not to be confused with actually Uber, which is the car service. Box, kind of like Costco, but you can order stuff, only use it once. Uh, phone Swap, are a great way to get your contacts over from iOS to uh, Android, it sort of uploads them to the clouds and downloads them back down. Um, rest of the stuff I think you guys are probably familiar with, Sonatrol for alarm, Kivo, I've got a smart lock at my house. Coin is an app that lets you control your coin smart card, it's a credit card, you can store different credit cards on. Um, and I also have Stratos card as well, you see that app here in just a minute. And there's some other sort of apps I've got kind of just stashed away um, in my other folder. Games, I don't have time to play that many games, so I only have six on here, but I still love Tap Defense, one of my first iOS games I ever played, and I still love that one. Um, here's all my Passbook apps, stuff that I use, I just sort of put in a folder. I tried to be organized, and then it kind of went away. Uh, storage, what I use for cloud storage, here's what I've got. SugarSync, Drive, Dropbox, and OneDrive. Uh, Amazon, stuff I get from Amazon all the time I've got in there. Uh, these are kind of Apple's media stuff, so you've got music, iTunes Store, videos, and podcasts, maps, uh, Google Maps, and Apple Maps. Uh, these are my Nate apps, Elmo Calls, Cookie Calls, and uh, Mickey Mouse Catalog. Cookie Calls really helps them eat dinner. 
Uh, Elmo calls as well. Elmo will call, and then if he doesn't eat, Elmo will hang up. So parents, bribe your kids. Uh, Apple Watch, activity monitor. I have an Amazon Echo at home, uh, which I love. So I've got the app right there. I have Direct TV at home as well. Um, remote S is a remote UV app. A test flight is a way that you can test apps that are in public yet. And you can see that little B logo right there. That is a uh, upcoming beta of a Techno Buffalo app. Uh, Google Photos, you know what that is. Uh, ADT Pulse to help control my alarm uh, at home. Google Hangouts and Google Translate, which to me is freaking incredible. You can talk to it and it'll just translate things for you into other languages uh, via audio. Incredible app. Um, Blue Scanner lets me scan Bluetooth to see what the addresses are. Uh, and Stratos Card is another smart card. I'll have reviews on both of those smart cards as well so you can see what they are. But other than down below, I've got things set up very, uh, very simply here. Phone, mail, and 231 is not that bad. Usually it's in the thousands. So I've been really working really hard to get back to inbox zero. I usually use Chrome for all of my web browsing messages, but I do have Safari there just in case I need to use it for anything else. And that's it. That's all I got. Are there any big apps that I'm missing or things I should absolutely 100% have on here that I don't? And you're like, John, you are a stupid head and you need this app. Tell me what it is down below and we can have a conversation about what iOS apps I need to have. And if you missed a video I did on what's on my Android, click right here to check it out. Thank you guys. I'm John Render from Techno Buffalo. See you next one. Bye-bye.